<laughs> well, today, 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 boy, it's going to be a good old-fashioned Canadian Canada goose hunt. Yep, yeah, I'm excited. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> Still got a full-packed house of guys in here. And uh, we actually got some decent sleep last night. Got to bed at a decent time. Boy, howdy, did Hayden find a feed for us today. Hayden and Bryce, shout out to you guys. You guys have been killing it on getting fields for us. Thank you so much. Yesterday when we were uh, hunting in the evening, they were out finding a field for us. So that was on a Friday. They had to work that day. So uh, today they're, they're, everybody's finally off. This is the first day everybody's finally off work and we're all gonna get to go crush them together. Oh, hello. What are you drinking on there? Duck blind roast, you know why? Ooh, why? We're gonna be in a duck blind shooting ducks today, baby. That makes sense. I, I can't argue juice. there. So right there, there it is. We got the duck blind roast from Free Range. Oh, it's so good, so good. That's what we've been uh, sipping on. Gets us going. Gets us high. Gets me going. I know. Yeah. It's hard at four o'clock in the morning. We all need help. Believe me. But if you guys haven't tried it yet, I will link it in the description below. Go down there, check it out. Pick you up a bag. Morning, boys. Morning, morning. <laughs> morning. Oh, we're gonna jack him up today. You ready to jack some jaws, Bradley? It's gonna be good. <laughs> it's gonna be good. <laughs> so as you can tell, we got a little bit of fog action. Not too much. It's actually a lot lighter than I thought it was gonna be. So it's about perfect. Mess up their visuals a little bit. Better hide. Woo, we're gonna come in slick, Rick, today, baby. Get them stretches in. Let's see them. Get them in, boy. Get them in. Get them every morning. Every morning. It is still rolling fog. Look at the headlights on the uh, on the trucks. It's just beautiful. So first of all, if you guys haven't followed uh, Ducks Waterfowl on Instagram, you probably need to because the amount of content we're getting out of out of this whole trip is incredible. So you guys really need to go there right here. Go to Ducks Waterfowl on Instagram. I'm serious. It's it's juicy, juicy content. We have like eight people out here taking photos and video. I mean, in high quality. You seen that red camera? that Colton has, unreal. So, let's get to the hunt here. Let me do a little explaining. We got a rye field that butts up to this uh, corn field, and this corn field has a ton of trash in it, which is great. We're gonna be able to hide these layout blinds with no problem. These geese have been landing in the rye and walking into the corn, so that's how we're gonna stage it. We're putting little groups in the rye, just trickling the full bodies in the rye, look, making it look like they land, and they're walking in. So we're putting the body of the spread in the corn, laying in the body of it with one big J, and that's how we're gonna run this bad boy. I brought these silos uh, up here to Canada and the boys have never used these silos. They're like, I don't know if they work. Yesterday we smashed the ducks over them. So they're like, oh, let's just put them all out. <laughs> it's fine. They are awesome. I mean, they work great. They're easy to set. Hey, what's up? How you feeling about this hunt? Oh man, I just got that, you know, tingly feeling that it's gonna be a good one. Yeah, so spirits are high. If you guys haven't watched the uh, Mallard the first good mallard hunt we had, you need to go back after this video and give it a give it a watchy because we were all on cloud nine yesterday and it's rolling into the day. You know how it goes, you get one good hunt, everybody's feeling good, just rolls into the next one. So we're having a good time. Oh well, let me cover that headlamp. Oh, get out of there. There we go. Let's go see how the uh, blind and we've we've got probably 80% of the spread up. Now we are blinding in the layouts and uh, it's a lot of good, good, heavy, thick trash in here. All kinds of thick trash going on. I need a manicure, dude. You need a manicure? Let me see. It's brutal, bro. Oh, goodness. Working hands. Working, Working hands. My hands look like this so hers can look like, you know, all done up. That, I mean, it's not a thing. Yeah, that made oh. sense. Golly. You're just looking sexy in that light. I try. You don't have to try. They're looking nice. So much trash in here. It's going to be a really easy hide. Really nice. Look at them. Look at that bad boy right there. <laughs> well, we got the spread set up. Let's uh, take a look at her here. 
So this is a planted rye field and uh, I don't know if we can see it or not but as we can tell out here there's just tons of poop everywhere. When Hayden scouted this yesterday the geese were landing in the rye field and then walking into the corn. So uh, Hay Hayden he, he put it together here it's juicy juicy. So here's the old layout blind this is where I'll be so this is the left side go out about I don't know 40 yards we got them real thin to where they want to land and they're gonna walk in here so we should be landing them right in this area but we got a big U going on big U and then out back we just added some families so the limit per person non-resident we can only shoot five so I can only shoot five honk daddies bond sale can only shoot five honk daddies but we got two individuals that are residents Bryce and Hayden them two boys can shoot eight honk daddies so the rules up here I'm telling you it's so much different from where we're from right from the states it's way different way different yeah. like like the e-collar rules you know how like e using an e-collar in the in the regular season those are way different like surprisingly way different so the rules up here are just tremendously different I mean you, you get you make sure if you come up here you read them read your rule book before you just go yakking on the old trigger everybody's clanned up we get a, we're gonna have a little bit of time before they start flying as you can tell it is super super foggy so the geese are gonna take a little bit to get off the roost today get in boys get in here we go here we go here we go we're gonna have to shoot them as they come over oh call it Oh boy. <laughs> Come on, spin around, spin around, spin around. Smoke up! <laughs> Hello! Good shooting, boys. Grab shells and go. And one way out there. Check for bands when you pick them up. And rang his neck off though too hard. A little too hard there. Yeah, the finishers. Boy, here we go. Here we go, boy. Uh oh, we just had a pair land over yonder. You know how it goes. They land away from the spread. We got some creeping going on. Creeping going on. Let's see if they get them. Dun, dun, dun. We need some serious music. Cue the serious music, please. So, uh, I don't know if they got any or not, but I'm two birds deep. I got three more to go. Um, so I'm going to try to get them done on the old GoPro and then once I get my limit I'm going to put it down I'm going to pick up the big camera try to get some saucy footy for the boys here, but them boys right there No, I'm talking about you guys. There ain't birds coming in. I'm said the boys over here the boys Oh, I'm sorry didn't mean to leave you out brother He's in you're you're taking one for the team back there, too No gun yeah, he's been pretty cold. Poor guy. But we've been having uh, trouble with this fog. This fog's so dense that um, you can cluck all you want, but they make their decision up if they're going to get low enough. It's skittish. They're, they become real skittish in this fog. They can either just give it up, or they become skittish and want to land away from the noise. So um, It's going really well. Let's hope they keep flying for a while here. <laughs> Ha 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 
On the right, on the right, on the right. <laughs> Take these three if we can. Take the three. <laughs> Woo! There we go. There we go, son. Three came and three died. Dirt no! baby. Look at the feather falling there. Oh boy, we got a big flock of something coming here, boys. These might be the youngins. These might be them little geese. These might be them lessers, boy. Coming back to the left. Shoot him. They're not wanting to, when they come over once, they're not working back around. We haven't had one flock come over and work back. I think that just that passing first shot is like the only literal, like for sure thing we're going to get. Kurt? Damn, he hit hard. What you got there? Big old thunder walker. That's a big old thunder chicken, yay. Thunder hey, yay. Hey, hey. Just it's huge. Big boys. Massive, massive, massive. Them big Canadians. Look at this guy. Got a crazy unibrow on him. That's an old fella. What the? Them there ducks calls are sounding mighty fine. But I need to let you guys know if you haven't checked out the website, the lanyards, all of our calls look duck calls, goose calls, lanyards, gun straps, all paracord items are back in stock. You need to go check the description below, click on the paracord link, and uh, go check them all out. We got some new ones in, some that we didn't have last year. So if you haven't seen them, they are fantastic. This fog is crazy. Beautiful morning. Well, um, been an awesome morning here. Took a long time for the geese to fly. What time is it, Brad? Probably getting close to 11. Is it really? Yeah. So, getting close to 11, uh, old Bradwick says over here. But uh, when was it? Probably 8.30, 9 o'clock before we even seen the first group? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah, they're coming back. So, uh, this fog just held them. They stayed on the water forever until they want to get up this fog just shut them down for a while so now it's gonna be a late day hunt here it looks like it's going well it's a lot of fun these big honk daddies are big and slow but quickly if you guys like this video which you should I don't know why you wouldn't you gotta tell me you gotta let me know by hitting that big old thumbs up for your boy I really appreciate it when all you do that and if you guys have any questions about where we're at in Canada uh, Anything about the Canada trip, who's all here, what we're using, what shells, guns, decoys, whatever, drop them down below. I try to get around to uh, all the comments. 
Oh, Bradley getting the juice. Old Bradley got him on there. Old trick daddy. Well, the fog, uh, it postponed the morning, uh, but we shot him, I don't know, from about 9 to 11. We had about a two hour window. Uh, they were slow trickling. When they got off the roost today, they didn't want to go as far as we needed them to, like they did yesterday. When they, when we found this field, it was absolutely loaded, but when we found it, it was also a clear sunny day, and they didn't have fog to contend with and try to find their way here. That was the issue. But the birds that did it, they didn't go feet down all the way, but they actually came in front of the spread, right over the kill hole, and that's how we shot them. So we're going to pick up the spread, and then uh, I'll show you our little pile. Well, not bad. Not bad for... Uh, having fog that just held off the hunting all morning. Thanks for finding the field, fella. You, gotta, you can't put me on the spot like that. <laughs> yeah, I had you. <laughs> hey, hey, slow down now, hey. Thanks for finding the field, darn it. You betcha, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Here they are, big old hong daddies. Goodness, they're so big. These bad boys are hard to kill. Goodness, they're hard to kill. I mean, they didn't want to go feet down, but they were low. We were shooting them, I don't know, 10 foot, 12 foot, 15 foot off the ground. And uh, let me tell you what, the uh, three inch BBs, it took every bit of that three inch BB to get them down. What happened? You ever rip your car through wet concrete? Well, I haven't, but this is exactly what it's like. <laughs> this whole thing is absolutely total. I mean, like this stuff is like. <laughs> oh, right that, out. that's good on the old Tundra. Oh, that's good for it. Especially like when it gets all up in the undercarriage, it's like just perfect. But I want to say a huge thank you. Oh my God, where'd you come from, guy? <laughs> I want to say a big old huge thank you to Hayden Bryce for finding this field. They've been doing nothing but scouting for us, putting on the miles, using the old gas. You know how it goes when people are out here finding these fields. It's a lot of work. But thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give me a big old thumbs up and drop a comment if you have it. Thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.